In chapter one, we are going to go over installing Windows servers uh, in host and computer environments. And basically here, we're going to start with an introduction to Windows Server 2016. Regardless of the size of organization that you're in, if you want to be able to effectively manage the storage and compute functions, you have to understand the new features in Windows Server 2016. And so we'll introduce you to that. We'll also describe the various uh, additions, the licensing for those additions, along with different installation options. We're going to then look how to install the Windows Server 2016 Core Edition, just known as Server Core. That is an edition that was uh, available in previous versions of Windows. It is now, however, the default edition in Windows Server 2016. And then Server 2016 does have a new edition called Nano Server. Uh, we will go over the specifics of Nano Server and then the installation procedure as well, as it does differ from a standard installation. Windows PowerShell is one of the primary means through which you can manage a Windows Server 2016 machine. Whether it's a physical host or a virtual machine, it doesn't matter. Uh, Windows PowerShell is a command line administrative interface that was de designed with system administration in mind. It has uh, the ability to perform just about any configuration that you can think of, in addition to being a full-blown scripting language and therefore uh, allowing us to automate repetitive tasks and really just become far more efficient as it comes or as it relates to managing the operating system. And then finally, one of the ways of deploying the operating system would be through imaging. Uh, and imaging can be used for client systems, but it can also be used for organizations that have the requirement to deploy larger numbers of servers. It is very useful in cloud-based environments. So we're gonna go through creating, managing, and maintaining Windows images for deployment. We'll look at the Windows Deployment Services role in Windows Server 2016 and how that relates to the overall imaging process. We'll also discuss other tools like the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, which has various components.